Okay, in today's episode, you're going to see the U-joint going back into the Chevy S10. Um, but what I left in this, I know it's 22 minutes long or so, but what I left in this video is the banter that I have to put up with all day, every day, from two teenage boys. And uh, I even edited it out a bunch, because some of it was just ridiculously random, but... If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, click the bell, leave some comments. Um, even if you don't like the video, leave a comment. Some guy left a comment on my refrigerator video about taking all the food out of it. And I told him I might have wanted a snack midway. Enjoy the video. Alright, so I got Doofus out here helping me today. It's his truck anyways, so uh -huh. he's already struggling to get into that tool. But I had a setback. I could not get this ring off when I realized that thing wasn't... Where is it? I could not get that ring um, off when I realized it wasn't set far enough. And so it got kind of bent. So I am going to attempt to bend that back into shape because I believe you can't buy those separately unless you buy a whole new U-joint, which isn't that bad. It's like 20 bucks, but I'd rather not spend the $20. We put our C-clamp on there, and that's got a big old thing on here to twisty turn it. Excuse me. And I'm still using a socket on that side to press the bearing. And then on this side, it's got its own little doohickey. And I'm going to crank on that. And we'll see what it does. I need a big old wrench. That's not bad at all. We're super close with that. I bet that will go on there. You do this is your That's his nickname. No, my real name no, no. is... Why can't we say our real names again? Oh. Well, Mama, didn't, the trophy didn't want you guys' real names being broadcasted everywhere. Oh, but we you use... mine is. We use our real names on our channels. Huh? Both have yeah, but your full name isn't broadcasted on there. Well. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. she knew that my channel would be more popular than your channel. Maybe and, you wise, but not but listen, Are we seriously going to do this now? Yeah. She knew that my channel would be more popular than your channel, and therefore, you guys would have more of a chance of becoming famous with all of my excellent content. Oh, God. And therefore, she wants me to be discreet. You, Whereas, you. your videos that get three views we don't really have to worry about it Stop. you it, just have that one pedo that's chasing you around can you not say something like that <laughs> this is going on my channel you can edit it out plus you're can. using your uh, good quality content as a, a, a yeah. argument but you have i got poop on me as one of the titles <laughs> for one of your Keep videos that thing straight. <laughs> that's a good video i recommend you watch it i'm gonna put a card to it don't click that. There it goes. Did you do it? You did it. You saved the world. Congratulations. You do the sucker on the other side. Wait, what? <clears throat> Can I, can I grab that foldable chair? Just as No. Come on. Why do you get to sit down? Hey. What? That doesn't fit right. Uh oh. Were you That's scammed? Not the right one. You were scammed? That's not gonna work. Look. Let's well, run to the Pat store. Doofus is upset because what we discovered from a nice young gentleman in uh, AutoZone is that 
sometimes these GM drive shafts is just a mix and match. You got to buy, buy yeah. you got to buy two different universals and swap the caps out and what have you. But I made that back one fit in the front. I don't know how, but we'll see. No, I'm but not Doofus is upset because he's like, you're driving that for the first few times. And I would anyways. So anyways, so I got another rear one. We're going to go put the rear one in and then we're going to bolt it back up, take it for a drive, Bob. See how it works. Doofus just watched the bearings explode in the removal of the U-joints. And he was appalled. Really? Mm-hmm. said, does Mama know about this? What was your concerns? Hey, we're going to burn down the shed. <laughs> and? It, that's about it. Oh, he's, and then we'll have to rebuild it. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll have to rebuild it. <laughs> not, concerned, not concerned about your safety, but <laughs> just the shed. Oh, it is a mess back here. What? It's 56 degrees in the middle of January. Wait, isn't this a stump? Yeah. Where's your... Where's your sweatshirt? Outside. Oh, man. Hey, so listen. I put the rear U-joint in the front in there because it fit. But come to find out, the wrong U-joint's in the front. So we're going to leave it though because it fits. And I'm going to put another rear one in the rear. But wouldn't that mess it up? Or is it the same thing, yeah, just different name? Driving. I'm not driving we'll see. Okay. I mean, <laughs> there's all also, you know, a fireball explosion in the shed. Wait, I missed the fire? Not today. He has a video. I want to see explosions. It's, in, uh, it's on my YouTube channel. I watched it in the truck. There's an actual fireball explosion and a piece of metal, like red hot, shot off of it. We should do it inside the wooden night. inside the wooden shed. Okay. I'm not concerned about his safety. I'm concerned that you, if it burnt down, he was gonna make you do it all again. Like yeah, that. no. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. Is the the metal ring is it like the one on that side? Is that one uh, broken too? No, because I. Um, accident? Nope, on purpose. Oh, wait, are we putting this thing back in the truck today? Yeah. How, how hard do you think that's going to be? And I'm going to try and push this one on a little bit using the wrench. That's going in there nice. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. There. That clips on. And then we're going to undo this and turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. I found this earlier. I don't know what it is. Turn it over. Hmm. Also, I'm having a lot of trouble getting that stuff unstuck and getting it on top of the pile. Okay, you see that thing with the sprockets? That thing? Yeah. Okay. That's where your end's gonna go. It's gonna go in there. Oh, okay. Right in that thing, right yeah. there. Squeeze, Toby, squeeze. Oh, it smells under here. Try and get your end. So that it's folded towards you. Hey, what? Yeah, so that it folds so it goes in easier for you. 
It's gonna be like that. You got it? Yeah. Now you gotta lift the end so that it goes in. Yeah, there you go. There, it's in. Yeah, but it's gonna turn a little, I think. I have no idea if I'm getting any footage Perfect. right now. Oh. Alright, I'm putting the Loctite on here. Don't get it on your eyes. Just, your face. This is kind of awkward, but I'm just going to do this. Hold on, wait, grab it right there. It's worse. Some Loctite. So these screws don't back out. Ugh. <laughs> Being upside down, it's not helping right now. Welcome to the life. Uh, mechanics. Yeah, but they get a little cool little skateboard thing to go in and out. Yeah, and they have lifts. Yeah. Yeah, and they're not being. This is redneck squished. tech, though. It's in the name. Tarps and. The tech is in the Tarps name. and trucks. That's pretty much redneck. That's the name of this video, Dang. Tarps right. and trucks. And I'm just getting them somewhat tight so I can put the ones on the other side. Which Derpy's gonna record instead of just, I didn't press the button. Instead of goofing off over there. I'm gonna put this on it while you're holding it. Oh, okay. That, that end right there. And then be ready with that other thing. <laughs> Hand me that other thing. Keep the screw. Keep the screw. Okay. Yeah. I'm keeping my head away from the stew thing. Oh, I mean the drive shaft in case it falls. It's not gonna fall. It's already most of the way in. Just in case. Wait, is this I look like such a weirdo doing? right now. Uh, just gonna do a couple things real quick. Okay. What? Your feet are sticking out. Colby's feet are sticking out. And I'm just crouched down with the phone filming underneath the truck. We look like absolute rednecks. Alright, hold that screw like you did the other one. <laughs> Boy, you're really making me reach for that. What's it gonna do? It falls. It's, yeah, it's not gonna fall. It's already most of the way in. <gasps> I don't trust your work. I mean, he's got pretty fair. He's got you there. Why? There's only a few minor explosions. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, just exploding tires in our backyard. Wait, what? Yeah, I gotta yeah. do another video like that because I never got that on camera. What happened? <laughs> He had to like seal something and Are you he still filming? Yeah. Alright. He had to seal something and he used fire and it exploded but it sealed you it. Used... <laughs> You're the one who likes fire, so you can't talk. Derpy! Yes. What what do you mean if I like fire then I know it's a dumb idea to use something that's probably that's full of gas. Funny. Aren't tires no, full of lighter fluid? Why would tires be full of gas? Are you know kidding me? Aren't Okay, I think at this point we had a misunderstanding where Doofus was talking about gas as in gases in the atmosphere and Derpy and I thought he meant gasoline due to the nature of the conversation of me using fire to set the beat on tires. They're full of air! How that's a good idea. Okay. Tell me how that's even a logical statement! Our, what are balloons made of? I mean, full of Well, they're made for rubber or something. Yeah, like, what are tires made from? Rubber? But that doesn't mean... Are full of water. But that doesn't mean that your tires are, are supposed or to helium. float, Colby. Or air. So that's isn't not helium, the thing. Isn't helium flammable? Tires could be full of air or nitrogen. Oh, I, I'm like 95% positive nitrogen. Flammable. So are potato chip bags. Oh, the reals are actually very flammable. The potato chip bags... Are, are filled with nitrogen to keep the chips fresh. Really, you could look at almost anything and say it's flammable. Well, Water is flammable. flammable. If you get it hot enough and start it, and then it burns really well. Water is flammable. The tire itself, though, because it's made... Is, isn't it mind-boggling <laughs> that plastic dinosaurs are made from real dinosaurs? I know! That is kind of ironic. I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not... It's... If you believe that. Oh great! Here we I don't go. Believe that time, right? You should make a second channel called yeah. Redneck Conspiracies. Everybody, everybody knows that plastic dinosaurs came before real dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and then God saw those and he was like, "Oh, that's cool! I'll make those real." And he made giant real-life breathing versions. And then the end until the meteor you hit and killed all of them. Not believe in genetics. Yeah, should we really talk about religion like, right now? 
it's natural selection. Is no, like no. Genes being passed down, right? So that's if, survival if of the fittest, though. If we don't believe in natural selection, doesn't that mean? You believe? I believe in certain types. I don't believe in that a chicken is the descendant of a T-Rex. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, but I, I believe, believe, just like the pug is a descendant Puggy. of a of a wolf. That's kind of a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? If you really look at that. But that only happened over a matter of thousands of years. Yeah. So if you go back to a single point with certain types, you could have adaptations within or even mutations within their types that allowed you to have all the different species of birds. But they started off as birds, not as <laughs> yeah. dinosaurs. Or they I... might have been dinosaur types of birds. Yeah, like the were... Arctic. Yeah. Like the... Uh... Uh, I believe that, that it's a bad idea to talk it's about religion a on a, a channel it's unless it's dinosaur. about religion. Why is that not a dinosaur? A pater it's from the same <laughs> oh, no, Yeah, I know. Pater we call it that anyways. Like we know it's wrong. It's not a dinosaur. A dinosaur is a land based animal. Oh, so then the Mosasaurus is on the dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur. It's living huh. in the water. It's, How come it's in Jurassic it's Park a then? Aquatic huh? That's inaccurate. Jurassic Park is not called Dinosaur Park. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Farce. It's actually should be Cretaceous Park. Oh, we get most of the creatures Cretaceous? From, yeah. So they're crabs? No, that's not, most of the creatures are That from explains why they're always in a bad mood. Period. They're crabby. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> but why were someone no, makes a good joke or roast someone and they'll add it. Yeah! But why were there no insects or uh, arthropods in it? Oh, you tell them pterodactyl. That's in there. <laughs> hey, pterodactyl number right. one. You What's know what up? I need? What? Right. This is gonna be hard to explain. Oh no. I need a ratchet mm -hmm. and just the extension. Right? Oh no, I got this. I got this. But then, listen. Oh no. I also need underneath the workbench, there's one black uh, bottle of oil and it's got a pump sticking out of it. It's like a hand, uh, like a hand sanitizer pump. Like, like, like a for, not for breeze, I'm like a. Uh, uh, so water, bottle. the thing you'd spray dogs with water what? when you're training them, like that kind of thing, like the spray bottle? No. No, like a pump for hand soap. So it's going to look like a pump with a tube oh. coming off of it. Okay. I need to put more stuff in this um, differential. So I need those two things. Okay. I got the first one for sure. Oh, sanding up hurts. I'll get the second thing. Oh, do you have soggy socks? Yeah. Oh, worse. I it? found it. Oh, that's not. I'm pretty sure. It's not. Okay, whatever. Oh, like... be careful. You can back and spill. No dip, Sherlock. Okay, let's find this stuff. So, you need. This drawer does not open right. So we got this, we got, uh, is this an extension? Oh, I know what an extension is, shush. Uh, uh, seriously though, where is this thing? Come on. Oh, come on. Extension, extension. I'm just taking the plug out of the differential because I got a leak back here. I'm not sure how well they can see though. Oh, there's still quite a bit of fluid in there though. It'd be so much better. What I'm using here is actually my boat oil pump. Wait, what? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I just got I'm, uh, I just put it in to the top of the differential there and pump it, pump the oil in until it comes out the top. So I'm putting that cap back in. Got oil pouring down my arm. Oof. Oh, isn't that kind of stain stuff? It's just my cat hats. And then I'm just tightening this plug back up. Here we have a mechanic in its natural habitat coming out of its shelter. This is a boat motor lower, lower end unit pump. But I use it to pump the fluid into there too, so I don't have to try and. I don't really know how to use this thing. Oh, there we go.
It's just leverage. Here, pull that out. No, I'm recording. Die. Yeah, like that. Stick it between the tire and the wood. And then yank. Okay, um, stick it under. No, stick it under. Yeah. First. Cool. You gotta stick it and then push it in. There you go. Yeah, oh, you the truck just moved? Maybe. Alright, so pretty much what we're looking for here I'm is right vibration. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Wait, then wait, I'm not safe to safe with the yet. It's not safe because it's good. We're moving. Hey, dang. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> you seriously haven't heard that one? Yeah, I actually have, but I forgot it. Yeah, but I said pterodactyl anyway. If we get pulled over, I have my camera. Because he'll notice you filming, and normally they'll ask you to put the camera away. They can't. Well, they can't. Constitutionally, I have the right to film a public servant Ooh. on public way. What? Oh, that feels so much better. Question. What'd you ask? If we're driving this fast and it falls out? <laughs> um, we'd hear it drag along the road till we stop. We wouldn't be able to go anywhere. And we'd have to have a tow truck come get us. Yeah, but... I'm actually going closer to the police station. This is kind of dumb. Just keep going. We're not inspected right now. Keep going. Well, but this thing's way better. So, what this proves is, with a little bit of persistence, and a little bit of stupidity that and explosions <laughs> and i did have to go get a special tool which cost me about 60 bucks um but i'll be able to use it for other adventures i, I already could have used it once with this truck when i had a stuck caliper so anyways the brakes feel a lot better and they're not doing the luck you know as you go around and then the drive shaft is not vibrating at all right now it feels great Whereas before, at these speeds, I was already getting a significant vibration in the wheel. So, what this proves is that you can do this in your driveway. Because I didn't really know what I was doing. We did great. You never really know what you're doing. You're just redneck it. Also, by the way, he does all of his own stunts. There was no stunt double for the I explosion. special effects for all these um, But, what I did learn was that... Heating up stuff. I not actually good. put the same... U joint in the front and the back, and technically, uh, I think it was supposed to be a different one in the front. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to drive, and you made me stay in the car with you. Anyway. But it uh, it, uh, it fit. Okay. Hey, 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 it fit, and it appears to be great. So, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.